Amio. Hey everyone, welcome to video two of our RBB Beer Geek Explains video series. Today we're going to be talking about barley, that magical grain that we make beer from. Why is it magical? Well, not only do we make beer from it, but if you look back into the annals of time, we go back deep into history, back into the earliest records, a lot of historians now think that people started farming, they moved from a wandering lifestyle into farm communities because they wanted to grow barley to make beer. And if you think about that, they stopped wandering, they settled down, they lived in communities, they made government and money and art and culture and civilization, music and symphonies. All of this grew because people started living together in order to grow barley to make beer. It's pretty cool, huh? Well, from here, how about we head back into the brew house and we'll show you some barley. So barley is a cereal grain, just like wheat, rye, oats, and other grass crops. What it is, it's the seed of the barley plant. You've probably heard brewers talk about malt. When we talk about malt, that means malted barley. So by itself, the barley seed is a really tough, starchy, not very fermentable seed. And so the monster, when he takes malted barley, Basically, he fools it into springtime. He takes his poor barley seed, he gets it warm, he gets it wet, and the seed thinks, ooh, it's springtime, I better start growing. And when it does that, it breaks down those unfermentable, tough starches into fermentable sugars, which we can use to make beer. But at this point, we don't want the seed to grow too much and use up all that sugar we make alcohol from. And so the monster, he roasts it. He throws it in a big roaster, he dries it out where it can be stored. By, by roasting them to different levels, he can make different types of grain, different types of malt we can use to make beer. Let's take a look at a few different types of malted barley. So the first type of malted barley we're going to be talking about today is the most important. It's called base malt. It's a wide category. Base malt makes up by far the largest percentage of the malt bill of the beer. It provides all of those enzymes that break those starches down into fermentable sugars, and it provides most of the fermentable sugars for a beer. Uh, base malt is roasted, dried out enough, just enough to get just the perfect moisture content, but not so roasted that it actually starts to burn. So the next type of malt we're going to talk about is a specialty malt called crystal malt or caramel malt. It's called that because it's heated wet. And what that does is the sugars in the malt, they start to crystallize, they start to caramelize just a little bit. Because it's burnt a little bit more, those sugars are no longer fermentable, so it will add some sweetness, some body to the beer. It'll add some great caramel flavors, and you can see it's a little bit darker, so it'll add just a little bit of color to the beer as well. So the last type of malt we're gonna talk about today are a category of malts called black malts, including chocolate malt, black patent malt, and roast barley. You can see these are really dark in color. They're really burnt from the maltster. And so chocolate malt is roasted like a cocoa nib is roasted. It can give some nice chocolatey flavors to the beer. Roast barley, for example, is really, really burnt. So it's burnt like a coffee bean is burnt. and gives some coffee-like, roasty, smoky flavors to the beer, in addition to that great black color. So here we are in the pub and I've set up a little demonstration. This is actually the recipe for our fire starter Chipotle Porter. I put it in this glass just so we can see what the recipe looks like, get a nice visual demonstration. Down here at the bottom we have some specialty base malts, uh, Marisotter, Vienna, Pilsen, some other base malts. Uh, here we have crystal malt, just a tiny little bit of crystal malt, adds some body and some complexity to the beer. Up here we have the vast majority of the grain in this beer is Turo, pale malt, American. That gives all of the fermentable sugars to the beer that's going to let the yeast ferment into carbon dioxide and alcohol. And then up here at the top we have our black malts. Mostly chocolate malt, nice chocolatey flavors into the beer with just a little bit of roast barley for complexity. And if you can see, just this tiny little bit of black malt up here is going to get a beer of this color.
Thanks for tuning in to video two of the RBB Beer Geek Explains video series. As always, we are accepting questions on Facebook and Twitter, hashtag RBB Beer Geek. We want to hear from you. Until next time, fear no evil. Thank you.